Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for clicking. Please hit like and subscribe if you like my content. Today we're going to be taking a look at the saddest dream theater songs. In order to be a dream theater sad song, you have to have a lot of emotion. And for me personally, if the song makes me feel sad or depressed, or if it makes me reflect on a sad or depressing aspect or time of my life, this is the, the songs, these are the songs that are going to provide that feeling and I'm going to share them with you today. If there's any songs that you guys think I missed that are sad, please leave them in the comments below. But let's get started and these are in no particular order, it's just a mixed bag of all the sad stuff. So let's get going. The first one on my list is Through Her Eyes off of Scenes From A Memory. chill, laid back, that piano. Piano can always be very emotional. That bass part really hits home as well. The chord movements mixed with the quality of James Labrie's voice, the soft-spoken singing style of this ballad. It all contributes to the sad factor. That part, that part hits home. That's that's a sad phrase. All right, guys. The next song on the Dream Theater sad song list is the song called "Wither," which was their single off of Black Clouds and Silver Linings. This one I was kind of fifty-fifty on, but I decided to include it. It's another soft ballady type with that acoustic guitar intro. James is more soft spoken on the vocals. Just got a somber vibe to it. Makes the cut. It's got a got a little sad vibe to it. And then you get to the chorus. And to wither is kind of a negative kind of thing anyway, so sad song vibes for wither. Next up we've got the song Far From Heaven off of a tragic turn of events. This one is by far one of the more sad. It starts with piano. Got some strings in the background there. Again, James coming in with the sad, soft-spoken vocal style. chords on the piano. Piano seems to be a theme with these sad songs, right? You know, 
if this were an instrumental, I don't think it would be as sad, but it's the combination of the instrumentation mixed with the vocals and the sound and the melody and everything really makes it sad. jazzy ending leaves you kind of feeling mixed right so that was far from heaven next we're going to take a look at a song called disappear from the album six degrees of inner turbulence this was another one that i wasn't really sure if i was going to include it's kind of on the 50 yard line But it does have that slow, ballady, sad vibe to it. Soft progression on the guitar. Once the vocals come in, A bit of reverb on those vocals makes it sound more like atmospheric and also adds to the weightiness of the emotional aspect. I'm not sure this one would ever conjure up a tear, but it's definitely on the sad side. After Disappear, I chose... From Scenes from a Memory, we have Through My Words, which is kind of the prelude or prelude to the first video that we did here today off of Scenes from a Memory as well. Let's just take a listen to this real quick. It's the same progression from uh, Through Her Eyes. For what it's worth, not the saddest, but definitely on the sad side. All right, we have three more guys coming in off of Black Clouds and Silver Linings. We have the best of times. And I believe Mike Portnoy wrote this one about his dad, so it's going to be sad. If you really pay attention to the lyrics in conjunction with the music for the full experience, it's definitely a sad song. Got some piano and guitar. Here we go with the sad part of the melody. Some strings. Vocal melody, vocal choral melody here. Just gonna skip ahead a little bit. So even though the music has you know, pumped itself up a little bit. We're a little more active with the full band thing. It's still sad knowing what the song is about, especially the chorus. Freaking goosebumps just listening to it. Best of times, worst of times, good stuff. Two more guys, Out of Reach, 
off of Distance Over Time. Nice keyboard, guitar intro. Soft and emotional. This one reminds me, like, if you've listened to James Labrie's solo stuff, I swear this could literally be like a B-side from the James Labrie solo albums. It's got his feel all over it. Does a great job with the vocals. Even the, even the guitar solo is a little bit sad. He's more doing the melody rather than a solo, but he's, he's outlining it on guitar in solo fashion. Just so sad. Do you guys agree that this, these are like sad moments? Please let me know in the comments if you agree with me. Dream Theater's known for being heavy and progressive, but... I love how the song goes out, James kinda... Improvs a little vocal melody over the melody itself. It's kind of like an anguish kind of vibe to this section. So when something's out of reach, it's it's unresolved, it's unfulfilled. God, these guys are amazing. All right, guys, if you're still here, we have one more. Please leave me a comment right now. I want to know who's watching till the end. It's very interesting. Most people don't stick around this long, so if you're here, thank you. The last one is Beneath the Surface from Dramatic Turn of Events. Also, probably one of the more absolutely sad. You have water dripping at the beginning. You can only assume it's tears, right? It's got an upbeat vibe to it, but once those were once those the vocals come in, forget about it. Is there ever really a right time? You had Stream Theater plays pop music, right? I just get sad vibes from this. When the stars above solo keeping that sad vibe alive you could say it's happy and triumphant I'm, I'm interpreting it as sad There you have it guys, Dream Theater's most sad songs according to me. Again, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, 
Leave what you think I've missed. Tell me if I'm wrong. Let's get a conversation going. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.